Notre Dame scored less than two minutes into the game and it looked like it was going to be the cakewalk that many of us expected. It certainly was not that. Notre Dame wins 24 to 16. Ball State runs 97 plays, and the Fighting Irish have great difficulty moving the football as the game progressed. Riley Neal, the quarterback for Ball State, was outstanding in a negative statistic kind of way, Tim. But Ball State came in very well prepared, and they coached better. Brian Kelly said it over and over again, and it's really difficult to dispute. Yeah, they, they coached better. you got to give a lot of credit for that, for that. And also, I would say, you know, when you're sitting there midway through the second quarter looking up synonyms for the word sluggish, you know, it's a bad situation for Notre Dame's offense because as bad as Brandon Wimbush played with those three interceptions, he was just – I think, under so much more duress than you could have imagined he would be against Ball State's defense. Now, we've seen him inefficient before, but it's going to be interesting to find out when you look at the film. Sure, he missed some passes. He, he did not have a good game, but I want to see how many times he just had no chance because how that offensive line would cave in under Ball State's blitz packages that many times for, for four quarters is beyond me. Now that we have now that they, we have two games to look at, the anomaly is the, the three touchdown drives in the first half, at least as far as the cohesion of the offensive line. They really struggled, and for the majority of the game, Jafar Armstrong, who had a fine game both catching and running, and Tony Jones were averaging better than six yards per carry, but that deteriorated as it went along. And fortunately, Notre Dame's defense, you know, which we thought would would struggle or had uh, the possibility of struggling against Ball State and Riley Neal, and it did because they are on the field for 97 plays and 24 Ball State first downs, but if not for their red zone defense in the first half holding them to field goals, it could have been a different outcome. Yeah, they came up big. Who would have thought coming up big in the red zone was going to be the most important part for Notre Dame's defense? I just, you know, Brian Kelly mentioned that he really liked what they did in the red zone. They, they put some new things in that they had installed in August, or they, they finally implemented them in the game plan. I wonder what those are, and I wonder why it was deemed necessary to bring it in for this week. But I think that was the only part of the game plan that took Ball State seriously. I, You know, this isn't my line. I heard it up on the press box, but it was a bit of a disrespectful game plan to Ball State with the amount of times they're rotating in third-string defensive linemen and it turns out it was a good thing because they're on the field for 97 plays and exhausted. But they they went so deep into the freshmen and so far away from the Brandon Wimbush taking the ball and running it to take control of the game. I was surprised that that, that would be part of the plan going in. Brandon Wimbush and Brian Kelly both said that him not running, they weren't avoiding that. But it was pretty clear that yeah. they were. And, and you understand going into a game like this, with all the hits that he took last week, you don't want him to absorb as many hits. But... The read option was dormant, and his willingness to scramble for things, um, it, it, except in the start of the third quarter when they went ahead and ran them on the first play and got the drive rolling and, and they scored. But, um, you know, I mean, any way you look at it, they didn't run them nearly right. as enough. Uh, enough. And if you're if you're not going to do that Brent, with Brandon Wimbush, you might as well play Ian Book. Yeah, I, I actually I did think Book would come in. He was warming up at one point after Wimbush's third pick. I think when Notre Dame stopped them, that pulled any decision away that Brian Kelly would have had to make. We don't need to insert a backup for a spark because now we can run this clock out. You know, if you're if you're a Notre Dame fan looking for a silver lining, the human nature letdown was going to happen either this week or next week. To go back a couple years, Clemson, I think it was Troy, week two, a little bit of a letdown. They win something like 30-24. to 24. So it does happen. They won the national championship. Now, that Notre Dame team out there, the way they block has nothing to do with that Clemson team. But I am saying there, is, there are human nature letdowns in college football. I just didn't think it would be possible against a Ball State team. I thought maybe it would come the following week against an SEC squad. All credit to Mike New and his team. In a week from now, it won't really matter what the score of this game was. But it does right now. It's Notre Dame 24, Ball State 16.